14, huh? inshallah. Now I'm writing something on the board, which is on in your handout. Page number 34. Huh? Brothers and sisters, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and number seven. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hmm? The greater impact of this will come in lesson number 15. But I'm preparing you now. Okay. Okay. What is this sentence, the purpose of this sentence, brothers and sisters? This comes in the Quran all the time. Dukhulul huh? Fai, the entering of Fa, Allah Jawab Ishat. So, brothers and sisters, Shart, as we know, we have Adatu Shart and Fealu Shart and then Jawabu Shart. If the job Ushad happens to be any of these things, if the job Ushad happens to be Jumla Ismiya, Jumla Talabiya, Jamid, what is Jamid? Laisa, Laisa only. Babima, huh? which is Nafi, or Walan, which is Nafi, and what is Kad? Harfu Tahkik, or Tanfis. What is the meaning of Tanfis? Seen and Saufa. What is it? Seen and Saufa. Huh? Are you with me? Seen and Saufa. Brothers and sisters, what will happen? The Jawabul Shart will get far. What will it get? It will get far. Now, this is not in the book. This is not in your key, not in your book. Alhamdulillah, my teacher, Ustad Abu Muaz, who taught me for over a year or maybe more than that when I was studying in Jordan, he was the Imam of the Masjid there. And he was a retired Arabic teacher. He is born in Palestine, but he cannot go back to Palestine to his own village or own place or own house. Uh, he worked as a teacher in Algeria. And then he retired. And it so happened that he was the Imam of the Masjid where I used to go for all my prayers, you know. And then I came in touch with him. And he was so very kind and he taught me many things. I took many lessons from him. The beauty of uh, him was, apart from being extremely kind and helpful, 
he knew French and English fluently. <laughs> and Arabic, of course, he was the master of Arabic. So, you know, we can easily communicate and he can easily explain me many, many things. So he taught me this, brothers and sisters, and I wrote it down. Uh, and it has helped me a lot. And inshallah, it will help you a lot. And I have put this little line in a poetry, uh, in, a, in, a, in a melody, inshallah. Later on, I will, I will show you, inshallah. And I will be singing this for a few days, so that it sinks in your mind. And if you can memorize it, sing it, it will be nice, because this should be your guide forever and ever. If the Jawabu Sharat has got these things, then the Fa has to come. <coughs> the Fa has to come. So we will be studying this inshallah. Now, let us take our key. Brothers and sisters, let us take our key. Page number 56. Now, as you can see, brothers and sisters, in the handbook of uh, book 2 and 3, page 34, this thing is mentioned, plus all the examples are given there, huh? which we are going to study in detail in lesson number 15. Lesson number 15, brothers and sisters, is the most beautiful lessons, and it will really give you so much insight into the Arabic language that when you will read the Quran you are going to love it brothers and sisters you are going to love it okay and remember yesterday I gave you an example of man I didn't say much about it you know man yamal mifkal zarratin khayrain yarahu Brother, shart and jawabu shart. Mai yamal miskala zarratin khayrain. Here the shart ends. And then the jawab begins, ya Rahu. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, huh? and brother, this is the Quran. Nobody can change this. Not even Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa can say anything which is not confirming with the Quran. Anybody else who says, then they are saying something which is not in the Quran. Anyone who does an atom's weight of good, what will happen? What is the job? When will you see it? And if anyone does, So everything, anybody who does an atom's Waits worth of evil. What will happen? He will see. He will see. They are all recorded there. Uh, do we realize that? Uh, do we realize when somebody says, Come to Juma prayers and all your weak sins are forgiven? Brother, I wonder at this statement. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Everything is being recorded. Each and everything is being recorded. Now, who is right? This is Allah's kalam. If you do even atoms weight of good, you will see. And if you do atoms weight of evil, you will see. Then it is up, out. It is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to decide. Huh? For the debit and credit. Huh? In this life, is debit and credit. Uh, if you have more debit, then you are bankrupt. Then you are gone. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So we must try to do as much good as it is possible. And as little bad things may Allah save us uh, from doing all these things. Because otherwise, brothers and sisters, they are all recorded and you are going to... You are going to... <coughs> See them. So this is a shart and jawabu shart. Now how many of us understand this, brothers and sisters? 
But now we as a student of as Arabic language, when we will read the Quran and we will come across these sentences, we are going to ponder over it. Think over it. What is the meaning of it? And we cannot go against the meaning of what is in the Quran. Huh? So that is why I put more emphasis on understanding these conditional sentences. Okay, brother? Iza. It is a zarf with a conditional meaning. Huh? So, iza contains the meaning of condition. Are you with me, brother and sister? It is mostly used with a verb in the past tense. What is it, brother and sisters? Mostly used with the verb in the past tense. Huh? But the meaning is... The iza changes the meaning into future, brother. Huh? So, brother and sister... Iza jaa nasrullahi wal fatah. So jaa came. But because of iza, because of iza, what will you say? Comes. Huh? When the help of Allah comes. Are you with me? Otherwise jaa means came. But iza changed the meaning of jaa from the past tense to the present tense. Future tense. Are you with me? Inshallah. This is very important to make a note of it, brother. Is a raita khalidan. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Is a raita khalidan. Okay? This is your shart. What is the jawabu shart? Fas alhu. Anil kitabi. Ask him about the book. Brother and sisters, fakim. Why did far come, Badr Hassan? Is'al. What is Is'al? Amar. So what is Amar? Talab. What is Amar? Talab. Are you with me? The fa has to come. Because the jawabu sharth is Talab. No, brothers and sisters, I'm going to slowly, slowly explain you. And repeat it. By Thursday, I'll be repeating it maybe a hundred times. You will become expert, inshallah. Huh? Today is the first day. So, don't worry if you are a little slow in understanding. Don't worry. Huh? Because everything we will be following here. More so in next lesson. Huh? More so in next lesson. Okay. Is a ja Ramadanu. See, ja is past tense. How will you translate when the Ramadan comes, <laughs> are you? Futihat abwaabul jannah. The doors of jannah are opened. Okay, very good, brothers and sisters. The Arabic word for condition is shart. Are you with me? There are two parts in the shart construction. The first part is called shart, and the second is called jabu shart. Now, brothers and sisters, yesterday I told you three parts. Uh, that was my own simple explanation. Because if you say there are two parts, shart and jawabu shart, so in the first part shart, there are two divisions. <coughs> are you with me? What are those two divisions? Adhatu shart and fialu shart. Are you with me? Adhatu shart and fialu. Instrument of shart and the fialu shart. Together it becomes shart. Huh? So, inshallah, you'll understand. Uh, you will not get confused, uh, you know, what I explained to you yesterday. My explanation is still valid, but it is in a very simple form, okay? Uh, but in the grammar books, you will find shart and jawabu shart. But shart will have an instrument of shart plus fiel shart, huh? inshallah. So, Iza jaa Ramadanu is the shart. Now, brother, can you see here? Iza, that is an instrument of shart. Huh? And jaa is your fialu shart. Huh? Okay? Futihat is your job. Now, you see, futihat, there is no fa. You did not say fa futihat. There is no fa. Why? None of these conditions are applicable. If those conditions are applicable, then only you will put far. And when you will read the Quran 
And you, when you will come across the conditional sentences, you will try to see whether fa is there in the jawab shart. And if fa is there, then you will ask yourself, why? These conditions must be met, eh, inshallah. I am giving you this in advance. And this is coming later on in the next lesson. Okay, brother. We have seen earlier that the verb that comes after Iza is mostly Mahdi. Sometimes Mudarya is also used. The verb in the Jawab Ushad may also be Mudarya, as we see in the following line. Now, I will do this line in the book, inshallah. So we leave it, brother. Okay. The jawab shart should take fa in the following cases. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now remember, Dr. Abdurrahim will show us everything step by step. I took the liberty and showed you everything. Because this sentence has to be memorized. And this sentence has to be memorized. And inshallah, I will be singing to you a few times. And you will, inshallah, uh, like this little tune, inshallah. Okay. What is the condition? If it is nominal sentence, brothers and sisters, if it is nominal sentence coming as a jawabushar, then the fa has to come. Are you with me? So what is your nominal sentence? Ismiyatun. Got the idea? Okay, brothers and sisters. Iza ishtahatta. Ishtahatta is past tense. But what will be the meaning? If you work hard, what will happen? Fannajahu madmoonun. Means certain, guaranteed. Brothers and sisters, what is this Jumla Ismi are doing here? It is coming as a Jawab Ushad. So where is Muftada? An-Najahu. What is it? An-Najahu. Where is the khabar? Madmoonun. Means certain. Guaranteed. So brothers and sisters, you see fa came? Is it for jawab shart? Why? Jumla ismiya. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful sentence. What a beautiful sentence. Brothers and sisters, وَإِذَا سَعَلَكَ عِبَادِي أَنِّي this is Quran, brother. See, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in different ways. Huh? Okay. Now, Allah is addressing Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa O Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa if my ibadi, my slaves, ask you huh, about me, are you with me? If my slaves ask you about me, huh? Brother Fakim, why? What a beautiful sentence. Brother and sister, وَإِذَا سَعَلَكَ ibadi anni. This is Quran, brother. See, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in different ways. Huh? Okay? Now, Allah is addressing Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. O Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if my ibadi, my slaves, ask you, huh? About me. Are you with me? If my slaves ask you about me, huh? Brother Fakim, why? Inni Karibun. Now we have already studied. See the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim? We did again the Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Failia in detail. Jumla Ismiya can have a Muptada Sarihun, one word. It can have Master Muawwal or it can have Inna wa akhwatu inna. Got the idea? So, Iza sa'alaka ibadi anni. If my servants ask you, O Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about me, where am I? Surely I am close by. Huh? I am very close, brothers and sisters. We don't have to look far. He is very close to us. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Why did Fa come? Jumla is, uh, Ismiya. Jawab. Jumla Ismiya. Now, brothers and sisters, next one. 
if the verb in the jawabu shart is talabi. Huh? What is talabi, brothers and sisters? Amar, nahi, and then istifham, which is not, which is mentioned here. Alhamdulillah, it is mentioned here, brother. Okay, number one. Okay, a talabi verb is one containing amar, which means fi'lu amar and lamu amar, and nahi means la nahiya and istifham. Are you with me? Istifam, interrogation. Huh? For example, is a raita hamidan. If you see hamid, huh? fas alhu. See, amar. So this is talabi. And mawid is safari about the uh, time of departure. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Number two. Same thing. It is uh, now lam amar. Is a dakhala. Ahdukumul Masjid. Translation, brother. If anyone of you enter, see, Dakhala is past tense, but you change the meaning into present tense. If anyone of you enters Masjid, Fal Yarka. Huh? He must, huh? he must perform Rakataini. Kabla an Yajlisa. What is the meaning of an yajlisa? Kabla julusi. Kabla julusi. Are you with me? Before sitting. An tajlisa. Huh? Okay. Very good. So do you see far came? Why? Talab. Huh? Lamo amar. Huh? She says sumaya. Talab. Huh? Talab will have amar. Lamo amar. La nahiya. And istifam. Huh? Now today is the first day, brother. By Thursday, you will all become expert, inshallah. Number two is Lamu Amar. Is a Vajatal Marida Na Iman. Translation, brother. If you find the patient sleepy, Fala Tu Kirthu. Do not wake him up. Don't. Huh? Brother, what is this verb? What is this verb? Form 4. Tell me the verb. Aikasa. What is it? Aikasa. Huh? What is it, brother? Aikasa. Aikasa. What will be the mudarya? Once you say you, are you with me? Then this ya will change into wow. Huh? You, Kizu. Are you with me, brother? Fala, tu Kizuhu. Okay? Tu, Kizuhu. Huh? And La came here. La, tu Kizuhu. Do not wake him up. Aikaza, you Kizu. Is Taikaza means to wake up by oneself. Huh? I said, you wake somebody else. Huh? Very good. So, far came brothers and sisters. Why? Nahi, la nahiya, talab. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is the last one? Iza raitu bilalan. If I see bilal, tamada akulu lahu. Is a raitu bilalan. If I see Bilal, so what shall I tell him? So what shall I tell him is a istifam. Huh? Maza. Huh? So fa has to come. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Did you get the idea? Huh? Inshallah. Huh? So question came. So, so now we describe talab. What is talab, brothers and sisters? Kelo Amar, Lamu Amar, La Nahiya, and Istifam. Huh? Now this is complete. Huh? In the last lesson, we did not go this much detail. Now in here, it is complete. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Inshallah, you will try to memorize this sentence. Huh? And it will help you a lot, brother and sister. Okay?
Jamid is Laysa. Ma is Nafi. Lan we know. Qad we know. And Tanfis is Seen and Salva. Huh? Inshallah. <laughs> Jazakallah. Ismiyatun talabiyatun. Ismiyatun talabiyatun. Wabi jamid. Wabi jamid. Ismiyatun talabiyatun. Wabi jamid. Wabi jamid. Wabi ma walan Wabi kad Wabi tanfis Wabi ma walan Wabi kad Wabi tanfis Ismiyatun talabiyatun Wabi jamid Wabi Jamid. I'll sing one more time, brother and sister. You'll get used to it, huh? Ismiyatun talabiyatun. Wabi Jamid. Wabi Jamid. Wabi ma walan. Wabi kad. Wabi tanfis. Wabi ma walan Wabi kad Wabi tanfis Ismiyatun talabiyatun Wabi jamid Wabi jamid Ismiyatun talabiyatun Wabi jamid Wabi jamid I hope you liked it Alhamdulillah. Huh? Inshallah, it will make you remember. I'll be repeating this for the next few days so that I can hammer it <laughs> in your hearts and in your minds, Inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, brother. Li nashrab shaya. Let us drink the tea, Inshallah. Huh? Okay. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters. We are back from our break. Uh, uh, Sister Rabi, Jazakillahu Khairan. May Allah bless you and your family for treating the, all the students with delicious sandwiches. Alhamdulillah, we all loved it. Brothers and sisters, you are all energized now <laughs> for the next session, inshallah. And yesterday it was Sister Gulshan. Uh, Sister Gulshan, Jazakillahu Khairan. May Allah bless you and your family. Uh, okay. Now, <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, lesson number 14. Adarsu Arabia Asha. Now, remember, we are learning in this lesson, Ida. And what is Ida? Ismu Shartin Gairu Jazimin. What is it? Ismu Shartin Gairu Jazimin. It will not make the fail shart or job shart. Majzum, that's that's correct, brother Abdul Samad, you got it. Gairu huh? Jazimin. What is Ida? Ismu Shart Gairu Jazimin. Maybe I should write it down. Iza, brother. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ismu shart gheru jazimin. Amwa jamun hadha ya fadilat shaykh? Is this a mojam? The dictionary ya fadilat shaykh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Al-Mudaris. Hisham is asking, is this a dictionary? 
او ریسپیکٹڈ شیخ نام ہاضا معجم مدر سی مدر سی ارا ارتا بدر ازا کیم شرط اسٹارٹ ازا ارتا انتشتری ٹرانسلیشن برادر سی ازا ول چینج دا میننگ ان ٹو فیوچر پریزنٹ اینڈ فیوچر If you want to buy, you know, aratta is wanted, but the meaning change into future. If you want to buy, mu'ajaman, brothers and sisters, fashtari, why for him? Talab. Why? Because it is fiel amar. Ishtari became fashtari. So far came because of The jawabu shart being talabiyah. Fashtari haza. So brother, ishtari fiilu amrin mabniyun ala hazfi harfi illa fa'il mustatir taqdiruhu anta. And what is haza? Mafulun bihi. Fa'innahu mufidun jiddan. Because it is very useful. Ya ustad. قلت یو سیڈ معجم مدرسی مدرسی منصوب الا مدرستی از دس مدرسی اٹریبیوٹیڈ اور پرٹرننگ ٹو مدرستی منصوب بدر نصب ٹو ریلیٹ سم تھنگ ٹو سم تھنگ ار وتھ می To ascribe something, huh? to attribute nisbat, huh? huh? to attribute something. Is a kan al amru kazalik? If that is the case, if that is the question, if that is the matter, or you can say if the matter is so, if the question is so, are you with me, brothers and sisters? <coughs> اذا کان الامر کا ذالک اف دا میٹر از سو اور اف دا کوشچن از سو فا این تا اوہا سو ویر از اٹس تا ویر ڈیڈ اٹ ڈس اپیئر نام ہوا منصوبون اٹ از ریلیٹڈ ال المدرستی نام ہوا منصوبون ال المدرستی ازا نسبتا اگین ازا کیم ازا نسبتا الى اسم مختوم بتائی now tell me about this brother خاتما to end مختوم something which is ending are you with me مختوم is اسم مفعول from خاتما if you relate it to a noun ending with tau tanisi azafta ta then you omit the ta are you with me brothers and sisters so there is the jawab shart in this first is a nasabta azafta so none of these conditions apply huh? so we do not have to put fa فَإِذَا نَسَبْتَ إِلَى مَكَّةَ مَسْلًا كُلْتَ مَكِّيُونَ Even the ta was dropped. مَكَّةُ too. It became مَكِّيُونَ Ta was dropped. مَكِّيُونَ means one who is from Makkah. أَفَهِمْتَ نَعَمْ جَزَاكَ اللَّهُ Okay, brothers and sisters. يَدْخُلُوا الْمُرَاكِبُ The Muraqib enters and he will bring another grammar rule. Whenever Muraqib comes, he has to bring another grammar rule. <laughs> okay, this is the style of Dr. Abdurrahim. He'll bring a Muraqib and we will learn another grammar rule. أَلَمْ يَعْتِيَ الْحُسَيْنِ 
ट्रांसलेशन ब्रदर अलम याती अल हुसैन हुसैन हैज इन कम डिड नॉट कम नम लम्मा याती ही हैज नॉट कम येट लम्मा याती सी लम एंड लम्मा बोथ ऑफ देम मेड द फेल मुदारिया मजिजू एंड यू कैन सी दैट हा इंशाला iza jaa what is the meaning of iza jaa when he comes fa kul lahu fa kem brother jawab us shat what is it fa kul lahu so talab what is it talab huh? amar denotes talab so fa has to come and if you don't put fa then it is wrong then it is wrong huh? is a ja fa qul lahu means when he comes tell him ha yati fi maktabi to come to that he should come to my office okay brother look at yati what is yati yati ni Brothers and sisters, yatini. What is yatini? Do you see yatini? It is also majzum. Why it is majzum? There has to be no. We we already got our job. Uh, Fakul, we got our job. So what is this yati? Yes, sister Rahima, you are right. Here, brother, for kul lahu, so kul became talab. Uh, the kul became talab, uh, and then jawabu talab is yati. Uh, so yati became majizum because of the talab, and then talab is fell amar kul. Uh, are you with me? So you have to understand this sentence this way: is a ja for kul lahu. Uh, so here, fakul lahu is jawab for the ida. Now kul itself is an amal, uh, and it became a talab. So there is a jawab of talab, yati. Now, do you want to insert your shart? You can insert your shart. Okay, look at it, brothers and sisters, carefully. Fakul lahu. In takul lahu, are you with me? <laughs> If you put in takul lahu, then yati will become jawab shart. But if you don't put in takul lahu, then then yati is your jawab talab for kul. Are you with me? Would you like to write down in takul lahu? Uh, write down in takul lahu. I hope you understood. I will do it one more time. Is a ja? Is a ja? That is your shant. Fakul lahu. So fakul lahu is a jawabu shant for is a. Here the sentence is done. Jumla shantiya finishes. Now we take only kul from there. And make it a talab, and then we need a jawabu talab, which is yati. Are you with me? That is why yati is majzum because of kul. Now we can also insert a shart after kul. Is a ja a fakul lahu? In takul lahu? If you tell him. He will come to my office. Yatini fi makta b. Yatini fi makta b. Now, because we are trying to understand each and every word, so yati is majzum. Are you with me? Why it is majzum? Because it is a jawabu talab for kol. Huh? Now, kol itself is a jawab for 
shart izah. Inshallah, if you uh, if you want to write down some kind of a note and relate it, you know, fakul is related to izah, and yati is related to kul. Huh? Okay, inshallah. Fa inna lahu barkiyatan. Brothers and sisters, the next sentence is fa inna lahu barkiyatan. So inna has come. Where is this mu inna? Barkiyatan. And what is lahu? Jar majru shibu jumla khabar inna. Very good, brother. Aina Ibrahimu. Where is Ibrahim? Atahar al yawma aidan ka adatihi. <laughs> what is the translation? Atahara. What is the akhara form? Form five. Al yawma aidan. He's late today. Like his habit. Like his habit. Ka harf jar. Adati. Isam majroor wa huwa mudaf. And he mudaf ilayhi. Iza jaa. When he comes. Brothers and sisters. Fire has come. There has to be a reason. La nahiya. For la tasmah lahu bidhukhul. So what is. Sister Mamuna, la nahiya, will go to Talab. Huh? Are you with me? Uh, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, I am uh, requesting you one thing. Whenever Jawabu Shart comes with fa, highlight the fa. All the time. Huh? Okay. Okay, I start from the beginning. Huh? Fashtari. Highlight the fa. Ida aratta an tashtariya muajaman fashtari hada. So highlight the fa. Next one, brother and sister. Wa ida kana al amru kazalik fa aina. So what is aina? Istifam. Huh? So again talab. It became talab. So fa aina tauha. Very good. And where is the next one, brother and sisters? Is a jaa fa kul. So fa again highlight fa. And then next one is a jaa fa la tasma. Does it make sense now? Huh? Brothers and sisters, wait till you come to lesson 15. In every second sentence, we will have a conditional sentence. And then we'll have to decide and figure out if the fa came. Why did Fa come? And if Fa did not come, we should know why it was not necessary to bring the Fa. We will try to understand everything. Wal Yadhab. What is this? Wal Yadhab. Lam Ramar. El Al Mudir. He must go to the Mudir. Inshallah. Ya Hisham. Ikrail ayat al waridata fit dars. Read the ayah mentioned in the dars. Bada istiyazati after saying, Awzu bilahi bin a shaitan al rajim. Ida sa'alaka ibadi anni. Fainni. See, fa has to come. You don't put fa, it is incorrect. Huh? Fa. Highlight fa, brother. Karibuns. So why did fa come? Jumla ismiya. Chala. Ikrail. Ahaditha. Waridata fit dars. Ya Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr. Al hadithul awwalu. An Abi Hurairata radiallahu anhu. An Rasulallahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ta'ala. Iza jaa ramadanu. Futihat abu abul janna. Okay. Now here. Fa'an did not come. But where is the jawabu shart? Futihat. Insha'Allah. Al-Hadithu Thani Kala Abu Bardata Samiyatu Aba Musa Miraran. What is the meaning of Miraran, brother? Several times. On several occasions. Miratan. Many times. Miraran means many times. 
يقول he said قال رسول الله إذا مرض العبد أو سافر now here that is your shirt huh? if you want you can put a line after سافر what is the translation إذا مرض العبد أو سافر if the slave means we the slave of Allah huh? if he is sick he is sick or he is traveling kutiba lahu now this is your jawab what is it brother kutiba lahu mithlu ma kana yamalu mukiman sahihan very beautiful uh, meaningful hadith brothers and sisters mithlu ma look at mithlu with single dhamma so mithlu is mudaf huh? and what is mudaf ilahi ma what is ma ma al mausula you can write down the meaning of ma al lazi huh? ma means al lazi kutiba huh? lahu mithlu ma so brothers and sisters Kutiba, where is the naive file? Mislu, mashallah, mashallah. Huh? Kana yamalu, he used to do. Kana yamalu means he used to do mukiman and sahihan. So whether mukiman means you are not traveling, you are staying in one place. And sahihan means you are not sick. So if you are staying in one place, and if you are not sick and you used to perform your salah properly, you used to fast properly, you know, then if you are traveling and if you are sick and if you cannot do, but Allah in His kindness will take as if you did it. Allah will take it as if it is written for you, as if you have already performed your salah and you have fasted. Because if you are not sick, and if you were not traveling, you would have done it because that is your niyam, your habit, inshallah. Al Hadith al Thalisu. And Abi Sayyidin al Khudri, radiallahu anhu, an Rasulullahi kara, idha samiyatum nidaha. If you hear the nida, what is nida? Adhan. Huh? Remember, nida here is mansu, mafulun bi. What is nida? Master. What is the verb? Nada yunadi. Form three. Huh? Nada yunadi. Very good. Okay, brother and sister, far came, highlight it and tell me why. Talab. Huh? I'm going to ask you, tell me why, tell me why. Okay, it is talab. <laughs> huh? So it is talab. Does it make sense now, brothers and sisters? <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Fakulu, uh, it means what is the meaning of fakulu? He must say. Uh, amar. Kulu, amar. Bislama yakulu al muazinu. What the muazin says, he should repeat. If you hear the azan, then you must say, you must repeat what the Muslim is saying. Muttafakun alayhi. Okay, brothers and sisters. Yusma'us sautul utasi. Utasi, brothers and sisters, the person who's sneezing. Huh? Huh? The one who sneezes. Huh? Yusma'u. Sautu. Translation, brother. The sound of sneezing is hard. Sound of sneezing is hard. So what is Yusmau? Felun mudarion lil majhul. Where is naif file? Sautu. Wahua mudaf. And then Utasi is mudaf ilahi. Manil atisu. 
Now this is your ismu file from atasa. Atasa means he sneezed. Atisun means the one who sneezes. And utasin is your master, sneezing. Huh? Very good brothers and sisters. Manil Atisu, who is the one who sneezed? Abdul Hadi says, Ana. Very good brother. Ya Abdul Hadi, Ida Atasta. Meaning of this brother? If you sneeze, huh? Fahmadillah. Sifakin. Huh? Fahmadillah. Huh? So this is your job. And fa came, why? Talab. Huh? Hamida Yahmadu. What is the verb? Hamida Yahmadu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ihmad. Fahmad. Fahmadillah. Praise Allah. Means, say Alhamdulillah. Huh? Call an Nabiyu. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ida atasa ahdukum. Translation, brother. This is a very beautiful hadith, brothers and sisters. If, if anyone sneezes, fal yakul, fa came, brother. Lam amar. So it is talab. Fal yakul, alhamdulillah. He must say, Alhamdulillah. Wal yakul. And his brother must say, Wal yakul lahu akhuhu. Aw sahibuhu, his companion, his brother or his companion. What should he say? What should he say? What should he say? Yarhamu. Yarhamu kallah. So brother, what is yarhamu? Rahima yarhamu. Yarhamu kallah. So ka is your mafulun bihi. Allahu is your fire. May Allah have mercy on you. Yarhamu kallah. Wa iza kala lahu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If it is said to him, Yarhamu kallah, fal yakul. Again. Jawabu, shart comes with fa because it is talab. Fal yakul yahdikumullahu wa yuslihu ba lakum. But then she says, yahdikum. Hada yahdi. Hada yahdi. And kum is mafulun bihi. Allah is fine. How will you translate? May Allah guide you. May Allah guide you. See how beautiful this is. You sneeze, uh, then you say Alhamdulillah. And your sahib, your companion, your brother will say, Yarhamukallahu. Yarhamukallahu. Okay? And as soon as you hear a dua being said to you, you reply that in another dua. Uh, and you say, Yahdikumullahu. May Allah guide you. Wa yuslihu. Uh, what is yuslihu? Verb, what is the verb? Aslaha. Aslaha, uh, form four. Aslaha, uh, uh. balakum. May Allah make your situation. Bala means your hal, your condition, uh, your status. Uh. It also means, you know, your heart, your mind, your thought. May Allah make it your situation, your heart, your condition, your mind salih. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is very beautiful. We should try to memorize it. Huh? We should try to memorize it and say it. Huh? Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Ajib anil as'ilatil atiyati. Okay, brother. Can I leave these things? You will do it at home. Uh, uh, the three questions. Now we come to understand uh, Zarf again. We did it in our key, but we will do it now. Iza Zarfun. What is Iza? 
It is a zarf. Tadamana. What kind of a verb is this? Form 5. Huh? What is the meaning of tadamana? Contains. What is the meaning of tadamana? It contains. Huh? It incorporates. It includes. Huh? What does it include? Meaning of shart. Meaning of condition. Tudkhilu ghaliban al fi'l maadi. It enters most of the time with fi'l maadi. Tuhavilu. Hawwala yuhavilu. Fa tuhavilu hu fi'l maana ila mustaqbil. Did you get it, brothers and sisters? It changes the meaning. Hawwala yuhavilu. Tuhavilu hu fi'l maana ila mustaqbil. And it changes the meaning to the future. Iza ja'a Ramadan. Iza ja'a Ramadanu. This is your shart. Futihat abwabu jannah jawabu shart. Got the idea, brother and sister? Wa qad tudkhilu ala al-mudhariya. And it enters sometimes. Qad means maybe. Because it is mudhariya coming here after qad. Qad tudkhilu. Sometimes it enters mudhariya. Wa kathalik yajuzwan yakuna jawabu shart fi'alan mudhariya. And then the jawabu shart has to be also fi'al mudhariya. Kama fi kawli shair. As per the shair, you know, brothers and sisters. This is very nice poetry. Wan nafsu ragibatun. Your nafs is always wishful, interested in more and more, desiring more and more. Okay. Is a ragabtaha. Your nafs is always desiring, you know. If you give it more and more, it desires still more. Okay. Brother and sister, here I would like you to write down with a pencil. Is a ragabtaha. Is your shart. Are you with me? Where is your jawabu shart? Ragibat. Ragibat. What will you write down, brother? If you give more, Ragibat, it will desire more. Huh? The soul is desiring of more and more. If you allow it to desire, if you allow it to desire, why is a turaddu? This is majhul, brother. This is majhul, turaddu. It comes from radda, to return, huh? to bring back. Ida turaddu ila al-kalil. If you return it to less, tak now. It remains content. Plain translation will be, the soul is desirous of more if you allow it to desire. But if you turn it towards a little, then it is content. Shall I write it down? Yes, sister Madina. This is form two. Raghaba. What is it? Raghaba. Form 2. Raghaba. Raghabtaha. This is Madi. Ta. Ta is your file. And Ha is your nafs. Are you with me? Raghabtaha. 
جواب شرط I told you to write down in pencil it is مأزوف رغيبت it will desire more رغيبت is your جواب شرط it's not mentioned because this is a poetry sometimes the things are to be understood Now, إِذَا تُرَدُّ إِلَى قَلِيل See, تُرَدُّ is mudarya. Are you with me? Where is the job of shirt for this second إِذَا? Huh? now also mudarya. So, huh? No, 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 no. It's not majism. Huh? Uh, Sister Madina, إِذَا doesn't make anything majism. Are you with me? إِذَا does not make anything majism. That is why we say Ira Ismu Sharti Gairu Jazimin. It does not make anything majizum. Are you with me? Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. The next line is Yajibu Iktiranu Jabi Shart Bilfai Fi Mawadiya Minha. What is iktiranu? Form 8. Master. Collecting. Okay. Yajibu is your verb. Wajaba yajibu. Iktiranu. File. Wahua mudaf. And then jawabi is mudaf ilahi. Wahua mudaf and sharti is mudaf ilahi. Jawabu shart is connected. Bilfa, necessary. Wajib, eh? fi mawadiya means mawadiya means places. Eh? Mawdu'un is singular. Mawadiya places menha from it are. And yakuna jawabu jumlatan ismiya. You got it, brothers and sisters? Okay. Iza sa'alaka ibadi anni fa inni karibun. And yakuna jawabu fi'alan talabiyan. Wa min anwa'i talab al-amru wa nahi. And, brother, you can write down wal istifham. Wal istifham. It is written there? Yeah. Okay. In my book it was not written. So well is the farm. Okay. hamidan fas alhu and mawidil safar. Now this is your Amar. Okay. Ida Wajatta Marida Naiman Fala Tokid. And then Ida Raitu Bilalan Famaza Akulu Lahu. We did this in uh, he also. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Now we will start the next exercise tomorrow, inshallah. And we'll finish the, this uh, lesson and we'll come to lesson number 15, inshallah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatam wa fil akhirati hasanatam wa kina azab al nar. Rabbana Hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin wajalna lil muttaqina imama. Rabbana takabal minna inna ka anta samyur alim wa tubu alayna inna ka anta tababu rahim. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. We will continue from where we left yesterday. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ayyun shart wa jawab shart fi mayati. Wa idha kaan al jawabu muqtarinan bil fai fazkur sabab zalik. Are you with me? If the jawabu shart is connected with fa, then mention the reason for that. Huh? Okay? Keep your highlighters 
and your uh, pencils all ready. Huh? These are the verses from the Quran, brothers and sisters. Ta'ala Ta'ala. What is Ta'ala? Form 6. What is it? Form 6. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu Iza kumtum. So Iza has come. So what is kumtum? So this is your fellowship. Now again I mention, brothers and sisters, that Dr. Abdurrahim says the conditional sentence has two parts. One is shart and one is jawab shart. And I, you know, for the sake of simplicity, I said three parts. Adhatu shart, fairlu shart, and jawab shart. Now when you make it two parts, the first part is shart, it contains adhatu shart and fairlu shart. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It contains adhatu shart and fairlu shart. So, Iza kum tum ila salati. Now, this is your shart. Are you with me? Do you find adatu shart? Yes. And the fialu shart? Yes. So, keep that in mind. Okay? So, when Iza comes, the translation is in future. Kum tum is past. But you will translate in present and future tense. How will you translate? If you stand for Salah or if you establish Salah, uh, if you are about to establish Salah, Fagasilu. Uh, what is this Fagasilu? Now this is your Jawab uh, And why did Fa come? Talab. Amar? Uh, Amar? Uh, brother, sister uh, Benas? Sister Memuna? Amar? Lamo Amar? La Nahiya and Istifham. These four things uh, denote Talab. Uh, these four things denote Talab. I repeat again. Amar, La Muamar, La Nahiya and Istifham. These four things denote Talab. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So that is why we had to bring in Fa. Fagsilu. Uh, Wash wujuha kum. Wujuha is your mafulun bihi. Fagasilu. Where is the file? Wow. Inshallah. We watch all these things, brothers and sisters. Wujuha is your mafulun bihi. Mudaf. Mudaf ilayhi. Wa. Harfu atfin. So what is idea? Mautufun ala wujuha. Why it is idea? What is the actual noun? Uh, do you remember? You got to also remember this. Huh? Uh? Yadun. What is the plural? Mankus. What is it? Mankus. Aydin. If it is marfu, it will be Aydin. If it is majroor, it will be Aydin. But if it is Mansu, then the Fatah will come. Huh? So that is why it became Aydiya. Are you with me? And then the Kum came. Huh? Inshallah you will remember. Whenever the nouns are Mankus, Inshallah you will be able to identify them, figure them out, Inshallah. Ilal marafiki till your elbows. Huh? Okay? Wam sahu and brother wipe. Wam sahu means wipe. Huh? With water. Huh? Bi ruusikum. What is ruusi? Head. What is singular? Rasun. Huh? Rasun. Wa arjula. What is arjula? Feet. What is singular? Rijulon. Huh? Rijulon. Huh? Will you please remember? Shall I write it down? Or you, you have an idea? Huh? Okay, I'll write down. Huh? 
راسون رؤوسون رجلون ارجلون Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Elal kaabaini, ankle. Now, our jawabu shart will only be fagsilu. The rest of them are mautufun. Huh? Are you with me? The rest of them are mautufun. Huh? Number two, brothers and sisters, قَالَ تَعَالَى إِذَا مَرِدْتُ فَهُوَ يَشْفِينِ Brothers and sisters, it's only Allah who cures us, brothers and sisters. Okay? Of course, doctor helps us, but it's Allah who actually cures us. So, إِذَا مَرِدْتُ How will you translate this, brothers and sisters? When I get sick, <laughs> so we have to translate present and future. Uh, when I get sick, or if I get sick, for who were, fuck him. Why? No, brother. Jumlatun ismiyatun. Jawabu shart, jumlatun ismiyatun. In the previous one, jawabu shart, jumlatun talabiyatun. Uh, or you can say, uh, you can say in the first one, Jawabu Shart, Fialun Talabiyan. Fialun Talabiyan. And in this you will say, Jumlatun Ismiyatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In the first sentence, we will say, Fagsilu Jawabu Shart, Fialun Talabiyan. And in the second, Fahuwa Yashfini, we will say, Jawabu shart, jumlatun, ismiyatun, huh? inshallah. Now, Dr. Sahib has already explained, huh? yashfini. What is this noon there? Noonu ikaya. Huh? It is actually shafa yashfi. Are you with me? Shafa yashfi. Huh? Shafa Yash, Fi, okay, and then Nunu Vikaya, and then Ya Mutakallim, okay. He cures me, he restores my health, but this is dropped. So what are you left with? You are only left with this, huh? okay. So this also we have to remember, huh? I jokingly say, Ya Mutakalam Aiti, Apni Nishani Chorke, Chali Gay. She came, she left her sign, and she went away. Huh? So, Kasala is her sign. Huh? Okay, got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Another nice uh, 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 verse, brothers and sisters, Kala Ta'ala, Ya Ayyuhaladina Amanu, Iza. Nudia. What is Nudia? Majhul. What is the Nada? Nada Yunadi. So Nada became, brothers and sisters, Nada became, see Na, if I say Nu, sister Gulshan, if I say Nu, that Aleph change into Wow. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Nu, and then D, as soon as I put a kasra, ya became visible. Huh? Nu diya. Huh? Is a nu diya. Lis salati. Is a nu diya. Lis salati. Min yomil jumati. Fas au. Again, fakim. Jawabusha. Uh, what is the reason? Talab. Jawabushat, Felun, 
Talabiyyun. Fiyalun Talabiyyun. Okay, brothers and sisters? Okay. What kind of a verb is this? Sa'a Yas'a. What is it? Sa'a Yas'a. To, to go quickly, to walk quickly. Sa'a Yes. Ah. How did you make Amar from there? Okay, brother and sister. Conjugate this. Are you ready? Yes. Ah. Yes. Ayani. Yes. Auna. Mashallah. Mashallah. Excellent. Eh? So if it is tas. Auna. How do I make Amar? Huh? I chop this, and I chop this, and I bring Hamzatul Vasal, Hamzaf Amar. Huh? So it has to be Is. Huh? But if I put Waw, then it will become Vasaw. Huh? Are you with me? Vasaw. Huh? And if you put Fa, Fasaw. Huh? Fasaw. So it is Talab. Where is the file? Wow. Antum. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing us, all of us, that you should hurry up. Uh, to where? Hurry up to where? Ila zikrillah. Ila zikrillah. Okay? Uh, then there is a wall. I want you to separate this wall, otherwise you will get confused. Either you circle it, and if you have two colors of highlighter, use one color for wall and the other color for the room. Now, this is something, again, we want to study properly. And today I'm going to write a lot of things on the board, brothers and sisters. Huh? There are two verbs that I'm writing. They are not used in Mahdi. Huh? The words are there. The verbs are there. But they are not used in Mahdi. They are used in Amar most of the time and also in Mudariya. Huh? The first verb is Wazira. Huh? Huh? What is this verb? Wazira. Misal al Wabi. Huh? And the second verb is. Vada. Are you with me? What is the meaning of these two words? Taraka. To leave. Huh? Meaning is taraka. So, Vazira, give me Mudari, brothers and sisters. Yaza. Yaza. Huh? Because Bab Daraba, it will change into Vada. Vada. Is yada u? How do you make? How do you make amar? Huh? We only chop this, huh? and you give sukun here. So what will be the amar for vazira? Zar. Huh? And this will be da. Da, utruk. What is the meaning of da, utruk? Leave. Okay. Now you see, tazaru, tazaruna. What will be? Tazaruna. Make amar. Huh? Chop here and chop here. This is your amar. Huh? Leave. Utruku. Huh? Utruku. Okay. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Vazaru. What should you leave? Al buy. Huh? Buying and selling. Business. Huh? Buy. Huh? Are you with me? What is buy un? Master. From where, Sister Hafsa? Ba'a yabi'u. Ba'a yabi'u bay'un. 
ಆ ಬಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಶೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಐಡಿಯಾ ಬದನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಯು ನೋ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವೀ ಆರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಹಮ್ದುಲ್ಲ ಸಿ ದಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಸಿ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಹು ಸ ಆ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಬುಕ್ ಟು ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ to understand the verbs and it is the beauty of uh, the books of dr abdul rahim the way he has designed this course we understand it and inshallah we can uh, when see in the quran we can uh, understand and feel it inshallah hmm. alhamdulillah so fast out wazaru huh okay these are both amar but we are only concerned with fas au because that is our jawab shart huh? okay number 4 brothers and sisters is a dakhala ahdukum al masjid what is the meaning of it when one of you enters the masjid huh fal yarka again fa came what is it lam amar so this is talab ha huh? okay rakata ni qabla an yajlis ha huh? alhamdulillah qala taala fa idha ja no this fa in the beginning is harfu atf ha huh? do not get confused this is harfu atf ha huh? fa idha ja ajluhum ajlu means the final time the mouth huh? when the mouth comes their death comes la yastakhiruna what kind of a verb is this from them istakhara to delay huh? and the same way we have istakdama huh? to to bring it forward huh? Okay brothers and sisters where is our jawab shart la yastakhiruna no fa din kam there is no need for fa why ji this is la nafia it's not la nahia it is la nafia huh? and none of these apply there are you yastakhiruna see khuruna what is it marfu it's not majzum or anything so there is no need for fa it is jawab shart so it's so khaina but it does not need fa huh? so you will have to figure out brother and sister there will be there will be many jawab uh, shart which will not need fa and there will be many which will need fa huh? so this does not need fa yes matu fa la exactly you are right you are right huh? alhamdulillah mashallah you see now you are you are getting very sharp huh? and you are now understanding very well alhamdulillah brothers and sisters number 6 is hadith ha ila sharib al qalb fi inai ahdikum from the container or a pot of one of you if a, the dog drinks from your container or pot ha what you should do fal yagsil then you should wash seven times okay now here where is the jawab shart fal yaksil what is it la mama so it is tala got the idea brothers and sisters alhamdulillah iza samiyatum bitauni what is taun play huh? play huh? if you hear play 
Fi Ardin. See? Fi Ardin. What is the meaning of Ardin? In a country. In a place. Huh? This does not mean the whole earth. This means a country. Huh? A place. Huh? Any country. Fi Ardin means any country. Huh? Fala tadhuluha. And then do not enter it. So La came. What kind of a La is this? La Nahiya. So if it is La Nahiya, now then it is a Talab. So now if it is a Talab, then we need Fa. Fala tadhuluha. Wa iza waka bi And if it and if it happens or if it occurs in the country, wa antum biha and you are in it, fala takhruju minha. Then do not go out of it. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So you got the idea. But twice, Ida came. Twice, Shart came, and you you have two jawabu Shart. Huh? Inshallah. Brothers and sisters, number eight. Is very meaningful, extremely meaningful. I will say something. If you don't like my statement, then please forgive me. But I feel like saying it, you know. Iza naasa ahdukum. What is the meaning of naasa ahdukum? What is the meaning of naasa? To feel drowsy, huh? yawn. You drowsy, okay? Feel sleepy. If you feel sleepy at the during the time of salah or when the salah time has come, and if you feel sleepy, go to sleep. Don't pray. Huh? But there is a wisdom in it. Huh? Sleep. Huh? What is it? If you feel sleepy in the salah, huh, you better sleep. Fal huh? yanam. Why? Lamu amar. So talab. Fal yanam. Hatta until till ya lama huh? ma yakarao. Until you are in a position that when you, uh, uh, you you know what you are saying in your salah. It means you are awake and you are alert. Are you with me brothers and sisters? Huh? If you are sleepy in the salah, you sleep. And then we are fresh. Huh? Until you are fresh and you know what you are saying in the salah. Are you with me brothers and sisters? Huh? So, hatta, brothers and sisters, hatta ya'lama. What is ya'lama? Mansu. Why? Because an. An. What is madmur? What is uh, hidden? Hatta. This is. This is hidden. Huh? What is hidden? An is hidden. An is what made the fail mudariya? Mansu. Got the idea? Okay. So, an is hidden. Okay. Hatta an. Now, this is what made this is what made the fail mudariya? Mansu. Okay? Inshallah. Now the point is this, brothers and sisters, that this is the hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that when you feel sleepy in the salah, don't pray. Because you don't know what you are saying in the salah. But our tragedy is that even when we are awake, we don't know what we are praying. Huh? Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, if you feel sleepy, you should not pray because you don't know what you are 
saying. Till you are fresh and you know what you are saying. But our trage tragedy is that even when we are awake, we don't understand what we are saying. So what shall we do now? How much benefit are we going to drive from the Salah? This is something to ponder over. Huh? That we must understand our Salah, what we are saying, what is happening in the Salah. Huh? Otherwise, the benefit is very minimal. Brother and sister. Now this Hadith is an awakening call for all of us. That we must learn Huh? And how will you know what you are saying in the Salah? Because Salah is in Arabic. How will you know? You have to learn Arabic. You have to learn Arabic in order to know what we are saying in the Salah, huh, brother and sister. And if you learn only translation, uh, it's okay. But better if we learn the language. Then you can communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. Remember, in Salah, we are getting very intimate with Allah. Are you with me then? Trust me, brother. If there's an intimate relation between Abd and the Khalik. Huh? And it happens in the Salah. Because you are communicating with the Creator, your Lord, your Rabb. Huh? And if you don't know, brothers and sisters, if I stand in front of you and I say something that I really don't know what I'm saying to you, you know, what will you, what will you feel about me? Huh? What kind of opinion you will have about me? That this person doesn't know what he's saying. Huh? Huh? What an ignorant person he is. So we got to, brothers and sisters, inshallah, Learn Quran, learn the language of the Quran, and then that knowledge will create khushu and khuzu in our salah. Huh? And then when you will pray, you will have a different feeling, brothers and sisters. The happiness and joy only you will feel and understand. And satisfaction and the sakina that you will derive out of your prayers, huh? inshallah, it will become part of you, inshallah. Next one, brother and sister, well, this is also very important. When the ikama is uh, said, you know, people still pray their sunnah. Huh? They don't quit. That's not right. Ida ukimat salatu. Ukimat. What is ukimat? Form four maju. Akama uki mum. And the knife file is salatu, so we have tau tanisi. Got the idea? Huh? What is the word, brother and sister? Akama became uki. Is a uki mat. Huh? So akama became ukima majul. Is a uki matis salatu. Huh? When the salat, again it is ira, when the ikama is called and the salat is about to begin, hmm? fala salata. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fala salata. Okay, fa has come. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. Huh? What is la salata? La nafiyatu lil jins. There is absolutely, absolutely no kind of salah. Huh? This is la nafiyatu lil jins. Absolutely no kind of a salah is permissible except illa al maktubatu. What is prescribed? And what is prescribed? Fard. Huh? What is the prescribed salah? Fard. So when the ikrama is called, then we must stop everything. Because at that time, the only thing that is uh, fard on us is our fard salah. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very important. Huh? 
You can write down one word underneath maktubatu, mafrudatu. Huh? Al mafru datu. What is the meaning of al mafru datu? Huh? Enjoined. What is it? Enjoined. Obligatory. Uh, fard, you know, imposed. Huh? Decreed. That is the meaning of mafru datun. Huh? It comes from fard. Huh? Kala Shair, a poet said, is a lam tastati. What kind of a verb is this? Form 10. Istata yastati u lam tastati. Shayan. If you cannot do something, fadahu siddha. Wadaa da. Utruk. So far came. Amar talab. Are you with me? Amar. Vada da utrukhu. Vajavis. What is the meaning of Javis? Write down, brothers and sisters. Javaza. This is form three. And then we have Tajavaza. This is form six. The meaning is same, to do something very well, to do something extremely well, to do uh, something extremely well. Are you with me, brother? So, Javaza. Yuja vizu, what will be the amar? Javis. Vajavis, who means you do it. Ilama tastati, what you can do. So do something what you can do extremely well. Leave the other thing and do what you can do extremely well. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Fajavid hu ila ma. Here ma is al-lazi. Huh, brother? Fajavid hu ila ma tastatiyo. What you can do? Very well. What can you can? You can do extremely well. Leave the other. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. Yes, sister Memuna. Uh, what is the meaning of Lam Tastati? He could not do. Huh? Huh? But because of Iza, how will you translate it? If you cannot do. Are you with me? If he cannot do, you will change Lam Tastati into present tense. Why? Because of Iza. When the Iza comes, brothers and sisters, mostly Fial Mahdi will come. Are you with me? And the Fial Mahdi will, uh, will be uh, translated as a future. Huh? So tell me one thing, brothers and sisters. Tastati, is it Mahdi Mudarya? Mudarya. But Lam came. So what did Lam do? It made it into Mahdi. What is Lam? Harfu jasmin, wa nafiyin, wa qalbin. It transfers mudariya into madi. Okay? So this lam tastati is madi. But again, idha came and it, we translate it now in future. Are you with me? How will you translate? If you cannot, huh? now leave idha. And just say, Lam Tastati. How will you translate Lam Tastati? You did not. Uh, you did not. 
No, bring either. Huh? You cannot. Huh? Are you with me? Are you with me? It will change into future. Huh? Inshallah. You got to understand. Huh? Sister uh, Bamula, uh, with Iza, most of the time translation is in present or future. Huh? Okay. Now, we got to learn a lot about these verbs. When it is Iza, we should not worry. Because the translation will be in the present and future. Huh? We will be more concerned when we have other instruments of shart, which inshallah we are going to learn today. Huh? Inshallah. Okay. Call Shaukiyun, brothers and sisters. Who is Shauki? A very famous Egyptian poet. A very, very famous. Yes, sister Naima, you are saying something? Yes, yes. Okay. If you cannot do anything, shayyan means something. If you cannot do something uh, nicely, it, it is understood that you cannot do something well, what you fadahu, then leave it. But job is who and do it what you can do very well. Uh, and do it very well what you can. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So there are many things we are good at. If you are good at cooking biryani, then cook biryani only. <laughs> don't, 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 don't cook baklava because you are not good at it. You will make a mess of it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, this poet, Shauki, he is uh, saying in the praise of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fi madhi, madhi means praise. Huh? What is he saying? Iza rahimta. If you show mercy, fa anta ummun wa abun. You are the mother and father of the ummah. Huh, brother and sister? He is praising Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that you, we look to you as our mother and father. Uh, we respect you. Uh, so, is a rahimta. So again, rahimta is madi, but translation will be present tense. If you show mercy. Uh, you are our mother and father. Fa'anta, what kind of a sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. The fa came. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, now there is a Beautiful exercises, but you got to do it. Will you make an attempt at home? You can even write down verses from the Quran if you wish, huh? or from the Hadith if you wish. Adhil ida fi jumlataini ala an yakuna jawabuha khaliyan min fa. You got to make two sentences with iza in which. You need not use fa. It means these conditions should not come. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. So you got to figure out, you know. Iza ja Ramadanu Futihat Abu Abu Jannah. So that is one sentence. Uh, like that you can figure out your own sentence. Uh, simple sentence. Uh, and now, next one is, Adhil Ida Fi Arbaii Jumlin Alan Yakuna Jawabu. Four sentences you got to make, in which there is a Jawab, Jumla Ismiya, then there is a Jawab, Amar, then Lamu Amar, and then La Nahiya. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Will you give it a try? G? No. 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 See, uh, I was just talking to uh, Sister Sukhaina about this. Iza zulzilatil ardu zilzalha. 
و اخرجت الارض اثقالها و قال الانسان ما لها ناو دا جواب کمز تو حدیثو اخبارها تو حدیثو اخبارها this is your job and there is no need for fire are you with me but then I again gave her another example ہاں إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح سبح أمر فهم تو سبح يسبح سبح ناو دفا قمس and is this there فسبح okay but you got to make your own sentence simple sentence إذا أردت إذا أردت أن تذهب إلى السوق أريد مي فسيارتي في خدمتكم what did I say my car is at your service ها فسيارتي so what is سيارتي مبتدا ها so it is a جملة اسمية you make your own sentence and make Amar also, you know, okay, uh, simple sentence, uh, okay, what is this, yeah, you can, you can, inshallah, you can figure out, إذا جاء الطلاب متأخرين, what did I say, متأخرين, no, that is your hal. In what condition they come? Late. فَلَا تَسْمَحْ لَهُ Do not allow them. Eh? Are you with me? So فَلَا تَسْمَحْ لَهُمْ So here it is لَا نَحِيَ Are you with me? Inshallah you will try to figure out. Do you want me to give you? You want to write it down? Or you will inshallah make an effort? Uh, brothers and sisters, make an effort. Uh, inshallah. And you know, you can always exchange your sentences with each other, even on phone. And finally, you can take help from the Hello Tamari. Inshallah. Huh?